Good morning, guys. Welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name's Kimya, and we make a lot of thrifting videos here. It is currently 10.20, later than my regular. Usually, I'm here at 10, but I seriously slept in today. I don't know how it happened. I had an alarm set. I literally snoozed it for one second, and I was like, I'm just going to close my eyes for 10 minutes, and it became, it was an hour later. So, I woke up at 9.50 and literally rushed here because this is like, 20 minutes away too so yeah it was a struggle but we made it but that being said i better rush in now so let's go and see what we find as you guys know i slept in today so i didn't really have a huge plan going in however the night before i had watched so many 2022 fashion trend videos so i guess i had a couple things in mind unknowingly but to be honest as i stepped in i totally forgot about all the things i wanted and kind of just went with the flow and sorted through stuff i was a little late so i missed most of the end racks but that was okay it just meant i had to search through everything i didn't see many young people here today so i was like it's fine even if i have to sort through stuff i knew like people aren't really taking a lot of the stuff so i was chill i took my sweet time i found this american apparel skirt and i knew i had to pick it up i know it's really basic and simple but i feel like you can make so many fits with it and american apparel isn't a thing anymore more, so I was happy I found it this skirt was giving me interesting vibes I was watching a lot of fashion videos on TikTok, so I will kind of wanted to go like quirky and above and beyond with the things I was picking and kind of pick some things I usually wouldn't but I ended up picking the same things I always would I found these guest pants randomly in the skirt section I thought they were pretty cute and then this skirt was again I feel like I got inspired by TikTok to buy this or I didn't actually end up buying it but I thought it was cute and maybe could make a fit with it I always wanted one of these camel cargo skirts so I decided to pick this up and try it on they're always just not the right size for some reason but let's manifest it for a next thrift trip and then we were off to the pants section the first thing I saw were these corduroy brown pants by Mavi. I thought they were very cute so I picked them up and put it in my cart. Then I didn't really find any other pants which I usually would so we went to the corset section. I found these two corsets. I knew they're gonna both be too small for me. It was quite obvious but I still picked them up in case just because I wanted to try them on and maybe add them to my video because I know maybe some of you guys would like it. And then this dress was kind of interesting and then this purple bralette i actually didn't mind it i feel like you could definitely make a fit out of it i just wasn't sure what i would wear it with so i just left it and then this little nighty, i was like maybe we could have a see-through moment with it and kind of wear a bikini under i don't know i was just kind of winging it and then i found this really cute hat it's like furry and even though I'm trying to manifest winter to be over, I still picked it up because I couldn't not. It was just too cute. There was these cute little earmuffs, left them though. And then these sandals were kind of cute, but 20 bucks, like, are you kidding me? That's far too expensive. So I left them. And then I found these shoes. They kind of reminded me of my Doc Martens. They're just these nice loafers, but I didn't end up picking them up, but I thought they were cool. This purse was kind of sick, not gonna lie, the orange, and this was just really cute, so I just want to add it to the video, but I would probably never buy that. And then I found some dresses, this one was pretty cute, so I added it to try on. And then this one, okay, do you guys know those poofy short dresses that are kind of on trend right now? I thought it was giving me that vibe, so it just was too small for me. This dress, I hated the pattern, but I almost hated it so much that I wanted to try it on, and I felt like maybe it could be like a tacky vibe. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. And then this coach purse I found, it was pretty cute. I didn't end up grabbing it though. And then this toe I did end up grabbing. It's this beautiful leather toe and it was such good quality and it was only $9. So I was like, why not? And then I found this going out dress. It's kind of old. Like, I don't know. It's like the old style bandage dresses, but I thought it could still be cute for going out and it could really snatch the body. And guess what? I was right. Because when I try it on, you'll see. And then there was this crochet dress. I thought definitely going to be too small because crochet is not that stretchy. But I decided to try it anyways. I was right. It was too small. So you won't really see it in the try on section. Then I went to the jeans section and I found these apple bottom jeans. I know they're bright blue. I still had to pick them up because apple bottoms like when do you really find those so i was like let me just try it on and this jacket was very cute such good quality nice and clean just pristine 
And then this jacket I really, really wanted to work. I know these jackets are really trendy right now with the double layers because layering is so trendy. So then when you have this jacket, it's kind of like automatic layering. And it was denier and Italian leather, so how could I say no? I found this Celine shirt randomly. I didn't want it, but I thought it was kind of cool that it was Celine and it wasn't that expensive. This vest was pretty cute. We went through the top section. I really just wanted tops today for some reason, and I didn't really end up finding anything this crochet one was okay but nothing crazy and then I found this tube top decided to try it on it's a lot but cute still the sweater was decently cute and this sweater was also decently cute decided to try that on this sweater the knitting was kind of coming apart but I thought for a distress look could be cool and again you know my sunglass addiction these boots okay I wouldn't wear them out but for a shoe or a picture could be sick so I decided to grab them and try them on. This is how my cart ended up, full as usual. I bumped into these boots on the way out, really dirty, but have potential and not my size. But time to try stuff on. First, I started with this jacket. I tried this on so many times. I really wanted it to work. And this jacket was just so soft, but I don't know. I feel like it wasn't really doing anything for me, so I just left it. I actually ended up really liking this top just because it was so basic, but it could match so many things and the wool just felt really good. This tube top was giving me some vibes. I was so close to buying it, but I'm just trying to be pickier these days so I didn't end up grabbing it. But with a cute little mini skirt, it could be a great night out outfit. And then these apple bottoms, I know they're blue. I know they're short. I picked them up anyways, we can return them still. I just wanted to try it on with a fit at home and see how it goes. This little slip dress was okay. I kind of contemplated it for a bit. And then my friend Gada, I saw her at the thrift store and she passed me over this, but it was just a little too bra-like. Otherwise, it was really, really cute. As you can see, this purple sweater has a lot of its knitting coming loose. The only way you could make this work is if you distress it. And to be honest, I don't have the patience and I don't know how to do that. So I just left it. This shirt was whatever. I found this fur hat. I know a lot of people are into those hats, but I didn't grab it. And then this is the tacky dress that for some reason I was caught up on. I know it's tacky, but for a vacation outfit, could be a vibe. I know it really could not be a vibe as well. And then this dress was cute, but I just didn't like the neckline. It was too high, so I decided not to get this. This was that going out dress. I ended up getting this because, I mean, Look how it snatches the body and it's just a good little black dress to have in your closet. I feel like you could really wear this in so many different ways and it's just simple and elegant. And then here comes the tote. This is the leather tote I got. Not bad, right? For $9, I feel like it's a steal. Then these pants, the corduroys, I really thought they were so cute, but my butt is just not meant for these kind of low-waisted pants. It's just a little too low-waisted and it just doesn't flatter my body type, so I left them. These guest pants I was about to buy, but I left because they're nothing crazy. So I just left them, but they're pretty cute, not gonna lie. And this guest skirt was far too expensive and I didn't even like it that much. So we left that. This is the American apparel skirt I got. I'm gonna wear it low waisted. I don't know the fit yet, but we'll figure it out. And you'll see in the haul video I will post. Finally, the boots didn't end up getting them way too high of a heel. So yeah, this is what we ended up with. Definitely didn't buy all of this. I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner now. So stay tuned for a couple more minutes to see who won the giveaway from last week. Hey guys, I'm here to announce the winner of the giveaway i've already done the draw i'll insert it right here and we can count down together so the winner will be announced in five four three two one congratulations rebecca you're the winner i'll dm you on instagram to get the stuff out to you and grab your address and stuff so congratulations hopefully i can do this again once i've compiled some more stuff so another person gets the chance to win p.s because i didn't do a haul last video i'm gonna compile everything and do a big haul video for the probably the next video this video and the video before so then we'll have a bunch of stuff to show and maybe i can style some outfits 
outfits with them so you guys can see how I actually wear my thrift finds. Another place you guys can see that is also my Instagram because I always post photos every other day basically. So yeah, you can see my outfits there. But other than that, probably in two weeks time, I'll put up a haul of everything I've bought and I'll style them for you guys. It will be really fun. So I hope you guys tune in for that. Let me know if you guys prefer having the haul separate and compiled with different thrift trips or if you rather have them just like the end of each video. I see that a lot of people do drop off at the haul. So maybe I can just make that separate. But let me know because I'd love to hear your input on that. Also, just a quick note, today was the first day I used my Dyson Airwrap, and I'll be posting a video about that. I know it's not fashion, I know it's not thrifting, but I still hope you guys tune in. I'm going to explain if I think the Dyson Airwrap is worth it or not, so yeah, definitely tune into that. So yeah, congratulations Rebecca, I hope you like your stuff, and I hope I get to send it out as soon as possible to you, and you get to see it in person. So, love you guys all, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!